Now that you have a basic idea of what you can do in type form and some of the possibilities, you may be wondering what you can do next. Well, I can suggest a few things that are available here in Data Lab and elsewhere out on the web. Number one, of course, is we've been demonstrating the free account in type form. It's very capable, but it is limited in some of the functionality and primarily in terms of the number of responses that you can receive. And so you may want to look into some of the other accounts in type form. So we have the basic right here. There's also the Pro for $35 a month or the Pro Plus for 70. And there are nonprofit and educational discounts available for both of these. The major difference is that the Pro and Pro Plus accounts add a more sophisticated conditional logic, the ability to get respondent notifications, calculators which allow you to score and price things, hidden fields, and a payment field. Those are really important depending on what you're trying to do. The Pro Plus lets you have bigger file uploads, but mostly it lets you have more than one user. And it also allows you to do a white label and remove the Typeform branding. I like Typeform a lot. I personally have a Pro account because of the extra functionality, although I've been demonstrating with the free account. In additional courses here at Data Lab, I demonstrate the functionality of the Pro and Pro Plus accounts so you can see how well they may suit your own purposes. But no matter what, it's a great way to get started in an attractive and inviting way of conducting surveys. There are some other obvious options as well. So for instance, if you have a Gmail account, you have access to Google Forms, which allow you to create free forms, and they can be styled in certain ways, and they feed the data straight into Google Sheets, which is wonderful. On the other hand, the functionality is a little limited and truthfully, they're not very attractive, but free is always the right price. If you have a lot of money, if you have some very serious requirements, you can go to Qualtrics, which is a heavy duty and truthfully very expensive industry strength survey design application. Again, done on the web, allows you to do almost anything, and Qualtrics is really well adapted for industrial uses. And they give enormous amounts of case studies, and they're well designed for their market. And that's another possibility. Of course, there are lots of other ways of doing surveys online, but these for me are some of the major players. And I encourage you to explore them both online and the offerings that we have here in datalab.cc. In addition, as Datalab develops its resources, we'll have additional offerings on survey design, the sort of human interaction elements, and ways to get things that are a little easier for people to understand and easier for you to interpret and implement in your own work. But regardless of which choice you make, I want to thank you for joining me here, and I wish you well in getting the data you need and get started in better understanding and better serving the people you work with.